This helicopter came under fire from a gang in a Rio de Janeiro slum. The pilot was shot in the leg, and after an emergency landing, his chopper burst into flames. The aircraft exploded shortly after touching down in the city that will host the 2016 Olympics. Things might change because of the Olympics. A lot of money will be coming to the city. It would be great if the city would make the right kind of investments. I'm afraid to walk in the streets of my own city. While the pilot survived, two officers were found dead at the scene, and one died later. The attack happened when police responded to gunfire between rival drug gangs just after dawn. It happened a short distance away from Maracana Stadium, the planned venue for the opening ceremony of the 2016 Games. President Lula has called to offer his support. He confirmed the release of funds to pay for a new helicopter, as well as $50 million over the next six months to fund security measures. After the crash, a fresh gun battle broke out as more than 100 policemen backed by armored vehicles and special forces tried to regain control of the area. At least 26 people died. In Rio, we have medium-term political strategies and long-term political strategies. I hope that over the course of the next decade, while the World Cup and the Olympics happen, we will work towards another level of security and civility. According to estimates, Rio de Janeiro will receive $10 billion leading up to the 2016 Olympics most of which the city will spend on infrastructure. It's an investment the Brazilians hope might improve safety in one of the most dangerous cities in Latin America.